Okay, now that you're all logged in, you have your account, let's take a quick look at VHL Central uh, and just kind of look at where things are. It's not super user friendly, so hopefully this will help you find what you need. Uh, when you log on, it should look something like this. You should see your textbook over here. Uh, you just click on that and uh, that will bring you to this page. Again, uh, kind of uh, not very visually pleasing, uh, but if, when you take a look at it, if there's something that we're working on, it'll tell you right here. So if you have anything overdue, anything you didn't do, it'll have it right here. And you can click on that uh, and you can do those assignments that maybe you missed because you were uh, out sick or something like that. Uh, then it will also have upcoming assignments and they'll be right here. So as soon as you log on, click on our textbook, that'll appear right here. Uh, so let's just go ahead and click there and get started. Um, it, it'll open it up if there's more than one. It'll give you an estimated time. The estimated time it'll take here is 22 minutes. How many activities? Uh, there's three up here. Then you can just click on the start button. Once you've done that, it will have, it'll just open up one of the activities. Now, they're not always in order of uh, easiest to, to, to most difficult, uh, but if you look right here at the top, you can toggle between the different activities. Uh, so if you find you're having a little trouble with one, skip it and go on to a different one, unless you need to do them in a, a specific order. Um, also something to, to keep in mind, sometimes it will tell you how many attempts there are. So right in here, two attempts. So it will tell you, you know, you only have two attempts to do this, so keep that in mind. A lot of times it has unlimited attempts, uh, depending on what it is. Um, oh, excuse me. Um, so again, you just go through, do that, the activity, uh, then hit save. Uh, save down here, and then there's submit as well. So you can save your work and then submit your work. Uh, and on most of them, you have unlimited attempts. I don't know why the examples here only have uh, two, but most of the assignments, you can do them uh, as many times as you want. Another uh, useful thing when you're working on your assignments is if you'll, if you'll notice right here, there's some other links. Uh, so this, this will take you to the, to the online textbook. So if you click on there, it will pop up and it looks like I need to update Flash. So it's not working right now. It should work on your computer. It'll take you to an online version of that book. Flashcards aren't really that great, I found. Illustration and eh, vocabulary list uh, might help you. It usually just gives you, uh, brings you to the, uh, to the list of vocabulary for that unit. And that might also be helpful as you're working through that. Um, something else, um, let's see, and that's, that's kind of basically it. Let's go back here. If we click right back up here, it'll say return to dashboard. So we'll click right on there uh, and it'll bring us back. Now, uh, that's how you, you go and you work through your assignments. I always have the assignments right over here. The other thing, there might be some notifications on here. Uh, might, might be some announcements right here. Right now there aren't because the school year is just starting, but there's nothing there yet. Um, also on top, it'll have the course. You only have one course. Content. This is probably where you'll you'll look for most uh, most things. If you if you go under content and you click on activities, um, most of the time it will look like this. So it'll have the assignments that have been assigned, uh, past and, and present. You can also click through. This is sort of set up the way that our textbook is over here on the left hand side. Um, but something that's really useful. If you if you if you click right here, assigned only, you can also look at all activities, and that will show you everything that's in that whole chapter. So you can go through, practice at your own uh, at your own rate, uh, your own speed. You can go ahead, you can go back, whatever you want. Um, and in uh, when we look at these, some of these assignments may be may be assigned, they may not be, but you're always free to go through and and look through as many uh, of those as you want. Yours might look a little different. Um, than, than the example here, but it basically looks like this. So that's something that's very important. Um, I think that's about it. So hopefully uh, you kind of have the basics down for, uh, for using VHL Central.